Uh, the talk today was about pitfalls and opportunities in lie detection. Pitfalls is what goes wrong, and opportunities is how to improve. Um, there are many things why lie detection goes wrong. Lie detection is difficult. Many mistakes are made. And one of the reasons, for example, is that the difference between lies and truth-tellers are very, very tiny. In spontaneous talks, there are very little differences. Um, but also, people make mistakes in that they look for the wrong cues. For example, looking away, gaze aversion or fidgeting, like these kind of movements, are very popular. People think that liars look more away and fidget more, and there's no evidence for that. Um, there are more pitfalls, but these are, I think, two of the, the, of the main ones. The difference are very small anyway. That makes the task extremely hard, and people are looking for the wrong cues. Opportunities is how you can improve. And um, there's a lot of progress in that in research. I would think if you would give a talk like this about 15 years ago, you wouldn't be able to say much about opportunities. But now, 15 years later, there are at least about 10 things you can say about that. Um, and we have developed ourselves an interview protocol that's called Cognitive Credibility Assessment. And it uh, looks at the strategies or the mental states of truth tellers and liars and how you can uh, differentiate differences in the speech content they give based on those different uh, strategies they use. And one of the main strategies, for example, is, is that uh, truth tellers are willing to give more and more information, whereas liars uh, try to keep the stories simple. And that you can exploit. And you exploit that by first asking, tell me all you remember. And after that, you ask follow-up questions. And follow-up questions you can be specific ones in which you get more and more information from truth-tellers, what they remember, whereas liars stay more flat. Liars stay more flat. What liars usually do is they give in the first free call what the information they will give, and after that they're not as willing as truth-tellers to give you more information. Also because they think the more I'm going to add to it, the more inconsistent the story sounds. And inconsistency is something that liars try to avoid. Um, why do truth-tellers give you more information? Why don't truth-tellers tell everything they know in the first instance? There are two reasons for that. One reason is they don't realize how much information you, you want them to give. Uh, and the second reason is it's extremely difficult for people to get all information that's out of their memory into speech, to recall all you remember. So the different type of techniques that, in, uh, on the one hand, uh, raise expectations about how much information you need to give, and other techniques are there that facilitate memory recall. And those kind of techniques make the difference between liars and truth-tellers more pronounced than you otherwise would get. <laughs>